that's, that's how he got more respect for the white man than, than the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Man. Come on. I'm going to read it again, and, and you know, you know, Lord's will, you because remember, we got to turn from our transgressions. So I'm going to read it again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. The head, our head, our head is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. Remember, Christ came to do the will of his father. So if we don't have respect for, keep reading. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Right now you in the midst of prophecy. You in the midst of prophecy. You're hearing the word of God, you in the midst of prophecy. Understanding what's coming out. And it's making sense. The questions you had got answered. You understood, right? Cleared up some 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 things. No, no, you but no, no. But there's 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 some there's some extenuating. You got some extenuating circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep reading. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Uh -huh. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth <laughs> with her head uncovered, uh -huh. dishonoreth her head. He says, so look, so the same way there's commandments for us, when, when we're praying or prophesying, we got to take our hat off. It says when the, when, when the scripture's coming out and the sisters are here, they got to have their, yeah. So sis, here it is. It says when the scripture is coming out, you got to have your head covered. You see that? That's how we show honor and respect to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. All right? You see that? But, but uh, you may have some circumstances and things like that going on, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. we really believe, we ain't, we, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't, we shouldn't worry about what the, what the other people's yeah. going to say. Yeah. So we, we trying to serve the most yeah. high God, right? We trying to do the will of our father. God, Christ ain't come, Christ came to do the will of his father. So if the scriptures come out and we rebel against that, we, guess what? We show dishonor to Christ and we show dishonor to God. You see that? That's why I said, oh, it's a chain reaction. You know what I'm saying? We got to get our minds right. We got to repent. We got to keep the commandments. When the script is coming out, you got to uncover your head. Sis, how you doing? Uh, not too well. I need a prayer. Sir, you need a prayer? Yes, sir. Okay, well, sis, I tell you what. The scripture said we ain't supposed to pray in the street, but I tell you what, we definitely will pray for our people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We pray that you, we'll, 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 we'll pray that you, that you repent, right? But that ain't going to happen right now because we in the streets, right? So let me, let me but I'm going to tell you what. This is what you need to understand. What's your nationality? You black? Okay, so come look at the sign over here. Come look at the sign over here. All right? Where do you see yourself on the sign? Seminole Indian? That's what your father was? Okay, so a Seminole Indian, so you from the tribe of Reuben. All praise to the most high. Right. All right, so guess what? You got to keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandments, all right? Because guess what? This Bible was only written to our people. That's right. God ain't, God ain't coming to save everybody. That's what the Christian church teaches. The Christian church got you thinking that we should pray for you in the streets. You see what I'm saying? That's what, that's what religion has taught us. You see, huh? I can't hear you. So look at, hey, I tell you what, since you got the flyer right there, there's a number on there, call the number, okay? But but before you go, let's get some commandments for you, all right? Give me, uh, uh, give me, I'm a All right, bro, hey. You, you out here every other Saturday, every Thursday? We, we come out here often, we come out here often. But but if you really want to get in contact, if you want to learn more, same thing I just told her. That flyer right there, if you open it up real quick, open it up real quick. Uh, the, uh, the other page. Other page right there, there's a number on there. You see at the bottom right there, there's a number. And there's an extension for San Jose. All right? Oh, yeah. Yep. So so you got it. So call us if you got any questions. Hey, bro, get you a flyer. Get you a flyer, man. You know? Hey, so sis, at the end of the day, we got to keep the commandments, all right? So you as a woman, let me show you this. I know you seem like you might have a kind of a tough situation going on, but I need you to understand this. Read this, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it said, 
It said the woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So let me ask you a question. What is an article of clothing that belong to women that men shouldn't wear? Okay, I understand that. I understand. I understand. But I'm just I'm asking you. I asked you on the flip side. What's what's an article of clothing that belong to 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 to, to women that men shouldn't wear? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you. At the end of the day, a, a dress. Yeah, we look crazy if you've seen us up here wearing a dress, right? So so guess what? Read it again on the other side. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So when it's talking about the woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That's talking about pants. That's right. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? You gotta get you a dress. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So sis, you gotta. So what I'm what I'm showing you? These these scriptures that I like said. Well, you gotta you gotta work on these things. You know what I'm saying? And I understand you got a tough situation, but just understand these things and humble down and just when, when do what you can to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Like today, you know what today is? Today is the Sabbath day. Today's the Sabbath day, all right? Give me uh, Exodus 20 and 8, all right? We're just showing you some of these things. Because God said, if we keep the commandments, he said we're going to be blessed in the kingdom. He said we're going to rule. It's the book of Luke, chapter 4, and verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh -huh. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, uh -huh. to preach deliverance to the captains. Uh -huh and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them which are bruised. You see that? That's what, that's what Christ is coming to do. That's what he sent us out here to do, to preach the gospel, to show our people that we're the greatest people on the face of this planet. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And even though we're at the bottom of society, if we keep God's commandments and do what we're supposed to do, we're, he, gonna, he gonna save us. That's right. You understand that? Give me uh, Exodus uh, 20 and 8. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. So God said to remember the Sabbath day. Sis, you know what today is? Sabbath day. Today, you're right, but it, Saturday, right? It, what, they, what, they, what the society calls it today Saturday, right? Okay. But Saturday, this is the Sabbath day. That's right. This, this is the seventh day of the week. This is the Sabbath. Okay. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. One of the commandments is you got to remember the Sabbath day. All right? To keep it holy. You got to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. It says six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The Sabbath is the, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So on the Sabbath day, you know, it, when, whenever you start working, we ain't supposed to work on this day. All right, all right. Give me, uh, what's that, Exodus uh, 16, 23? Watch this. Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath of the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which ye will bake today, uh -huh. and see that which ye will see. So that's going into cooking. It says prior to the Sabbath, we're supposed to prepare our food because what? Keep going. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. It says lay up whatever you have left over, keep it for the Sabbath day. Why? Why is it saying that? Give me that. And uh, 35 and 3. This is why it's saying to prepare your food the day before. Exodus chapter 35 and verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations on the Sabbath. Because we ain't supposed to be cooking on the Sabbath. So we got to eat something cold. You know what I'm saying? A salad, a sandwich, something like that. All right? Okay, like, for example, you where, where you, you go to like a shelter or something like that? No, I live, I live downtown outside, yeah. Okay, so you need to, you know, should find you a shelter or something, sis.
what I mean? Back. And let me ask you something. Is that your natural hair color? Uh, no, it is that. Okay, I'm gonna show you something else. Get, get, get Leviticus. I get don't Leviticus. know what it is, but I, I Read Leviticus it. chapter 13 and verse 29. If a man or woman hath a plague upon the head or the beard, then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. So it says, I see you got the blonde. You know what I mean? That's not your natural right. So it said, if there be a yellow thin hair, Rick, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It says that's unclean. We shouldn't be following after all these other nations trying to get our hair the same color like them and stuff. All right? Let your natural wool show. Okay, I'll you know be what I mean? It says call it. There's a number on there, all right? You got to, you got to, you know what I'm saying? You need to come back to the scriptures. And guess what? That's how you're going to get out of the condition you in. So we got to wake up. We got to come back to keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, give me 2 Peter 3 and 8. 2 Peter 3 and 8. Because that's the problem, man. We, we don't understand destruction is coming to this side of the world. Destruction is coming to America. And all those that's breaking God's commandments, y'all going up and smoke with it if you don't repent. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all are the Israelites. Yeah. Repentance is for you. As a matter of fact, every uh, bro the brother left, but he was asking about grace. All right? The Christian church teaches us that grace is, is, is just believing on Christ and living how you want to live and not even doing nothing that the Bible says. That's contrary to what the Bible says. Give me that. Give me, uh, give me Titus real quick. I'm gonna, we're going to bring out grace. All right? Give me that. It's the book of Titus, chapter 3, chapter 2, and verse 11. For the grace of God bringeth salvation. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, uh -huh. teaching us. So it said, the grace of God have been, has appeared to all men, teaching us, and is teaching us. Read it again. It start from the top. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, uh -huh. teaching us. That so grace is supposed to teach us something. Yeah. What is grace supposed to teach us? Go ahead. That denying ungodliness. We're supposed to deny ungodliness. Right. That's what these Christian churches ain't teaching us today. They saying you can live however you want to live. They saying God is good all the time and all the time God is good. That's contrary to what the Bible says. Grace is supposed to teach us to deny ungodliness. That means we got to deny sin. That means we got to keep the commandments. Because if we keep the commandments, that's the only way we're going to get out of the conditions that we're going to be in. That's the only way we're going to escape the perils that are to come to this world. Keep reading. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, uh -huh. we should live soberly. We got to live soberly. We can't be getting drunk. We can't be getting high. We got to be soberly. We got we to be clear-minded. So we can see and understand what times we're living in. Go ahead. Righteously. Righteously. According to Deuteronomy 6 and 25, it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do the commandments of the Lord. That's right. Go ahead. And godly in this present world. And godly in this present world. Read. Looking for that blessed hope and that glorious. That's it. So we got to live righteously, because if not, we're going to get caught up in the perils. Go ahead. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Hey, bro, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, bro? Go ahead. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day... At verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It said, but the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Go ahead. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's talking about nuclear destruction. That's coming to America. Go ahead. And the elements 
shall melt with fervent heat. It said, and the elements shall melt away with fervent heat. This place is going up in smoke. And if you believe in the grace that the Christian church is teaching you, you're going up with it. You got to come back to the true gospel. You got to come back to the commandments. You got to understand what the Most High is trying to show you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. You are seeing that all this stuff is coming to America. Destruction is coming. Seeing that, understanding that, read. What manner of person ought ye to be? How should you move in this world, knowing that this place is going up in smoke? And, and salvation is given to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You don't have to go up in it. You could be delivered from, from the destruction that is to come to this side of the world. But you got to keep the commandments. What manner of person ought you to be right now? We got to be living soberly and righteously in this present world. That's the manner that we ought to be in right now. That's right. To escape that destruction that we just read. We got to make haste to keep the commandments. Give me Psalms chapter uh, 119, 59. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. Hey, bro, you got a question over there? Soldier Manuel. Manuel. Bro, hey. Brother. Come, come deal with us, man. You got a question? Come learn real quick. Two minutes, bruh. What's your nationality? Huh? What'd he say? Check the fly, bruh. Go ahead. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my way. That's what we got to do. In this present world, we got to think on our ways. Go ahead. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. We got to turn our feet to the testimonies of the Most High God. We got to turn away from wickedness. We got to turn away from our, transgress our transgressions. We got to turn away from iniquity. Go ahead. I made haste. We got to make haste. We can't take our time. We can't tarry. Go ahead. And delay not. We cannot delay. Delay not to do what? To keep the commandments. We must keep the commandments. Hey, come learn. Come get you a flyer. Come get you a flyer. We out here teaching repentance to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all are the Israelites. Y'all make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You got to repent. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is